So you want to learn about Heads Lookup. I'll leave a link to this exact Excel sheet down in the description below if you want to follow along. So as you can see from this employee number right here, I can get all of this information just by using VLOOKUP from this table. As soon as I change the employee number right here, all of the information below will change according to the table. The problem with VLOOKUP is that V from VLOOKUP stands for vertical. If the data set is not in the way it's looking right now, and if it's in a horizontal format, you cannot use VLOOKUP. That's where HLOOKUP comes in handy. H stands for horizontal, as you might have already guessed. So let's go into the H tab on your Excel sheet. And you can see here that the information here on the table is the exact same information that was on the first sheet. But right now it is placed in a horizontal format. I have the exact same data set here as well. But you can see that if I use VLOOKUP, it shows a NA error. So how do we go about getting the correct information? Go ahead and type equal to, type HLOOKUP. Now this information that's popped up right below is very important for you to understand. And if you understand this, it's going to be very easy for you to use HLOOKUP anytime, anywhere. So the first thing it asks for is lookup value. Lookup value is the exact unique field that you need to look for from one specific cell. And this exact same unique field also must be present in your data set from where you need to get the information. So in this case, our lookup value is going to be the employee number. Go ahead and click on it and let's use the dollar sign to make it a constant. Go ahead and click on comma and now you have table array. Table array is the location where you need to get the information from. In our case, we are starting with the employee number because that's what we are searching for and we need all of this information and go ahead and select the entire table where this is present. Go ahead and click on comma. The next thing that it's asking for is called row index number. Now row index number is the numerical number of the row from which you need to get the answer. In our case, we are looking for the name from the employee number. This is the table that we have selected and therefore, row number one would be the employee number, row number two would be the name and right here we need name. So we go ahead and type two. Go ahead and type comma and the last option is going to be exact match or approximate match. We need the exact match because there should not be any difference, any variance in the two different data sets that we have selected. So you can either type false or you can type zero for the exact same effect and close the bracket. You can now see that this employee number belongs to James. If I change the employee number to the first one, it will change to Michael. Let's now go ahead and quickly add in the department, the designation and the salary as well. So go ahead again and type H lookup. Open the bracket. Lookup value is going to be the same. Go ahead and click on comma. The table array is also going to be the same. The row index number is now going to be three because the third column is where you're going to get the department. Go ahead and type three, comma, zero, close the bracket and enter. You can see now that Michael works in customer support. Same thing for designation, type equal to, H lookup. The lookup value is going to be the exact same employee number, comma, Table array is going to be this location right here, comma, row index number in this case is going to be four, comma, and this time we'll use false, just so that you know that it works the exact same way. Now for salary, just for the sake of example, let's choose the name as the primary lookup value. Go ahead and type HLOOKUP, go ahead and select the name, select the table array starting from Michael, Select the entire table and this time salary is the fourth row. You can see that the first row is the name, second row is the department, third row is the designation and fourth row is the salary. Type four comma zero and close the bracket and you can see that Michael's salary is now 43,000 just as shown below. Now you can go ahead and change the employee number to anything you want and all the fields will automatically 
update using your HLOOKUP formula. But now what happens if you change the range lookup from zero or false to true? Let's go ahead and change and try that. You can see that the salary is now showing 48,000 where Michael is actually withdrawing 43,000. The reason for this is it starts the search from the right hand side of your table array and if you go to the right hand side we can see that Megan who is getting 48,000 is considered to be an approximate match according to Excel. This is the reason that I don't recommend using approximate match in most cases for beginners but for experts and advanced level users there might be some use case scenarios where you use this approximate match feature. Let's go ahead and go back and select Michael this time, copy this information and paste it in the last column. You can see now that Michael has been moved to the last column, drawing 43,000. And if we go to the top, we should see that Michael's 43 is now reflected right here using the HLOOKUP formula, even though we have set the formula to approximate match. Now VLOOKUP is very similar to HLOOKUP, but if you'd like to learn more on VLOOKUP, check out this video or check out this video. Now, before you go, hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.